What's going on guys? TutorialX6 here back for somewhat of a third party oddity. Uh, this is the Mech Series uh, SC01 Repair Station by Second Chance. Now I call this an oddity not because you can't go to the store, you know, like a BBTS or whatever and buy it, but I just don't remember ever hearing anything about this. And maybe I did. And uh, yeah, maybe I just glossed right over it. I can't remember. Um, I was actually browsing for a small prime that we'll see in a future review here and came across this trailer and don't ever remember hearing anything about it um, I'm hoping that this trailer will fit the prime that I was browsing for but again we'll see when that comes so yeah as you can see it's an Optimus Prime trailer and uh, yeah let's get rid of the box there's the trailer now I have a very very difficult time figuring out if this is a knockoff or a unique tooling uh, that's inspired by the MP, I'm not really sure. Because when you flip to the bottom here, there's really no detail of the MP trailer. In fact, let's bring the MP trailer out here just for a refresher. I mean, you got the nice wheels. These bars are definitely different on here, but it could just be uh, simplification. Now, uh, we still have these, but their location is... A little bit different and they're not independent on here uh, that still doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't a simplified knockoff um, your detailing on the trailer like up here is gone now um, and then most notably you don't have the little thing in the top for the uh, teletran unit to come out and uh, none of the little rivet work that you have here nor this detail so for those reasons I feel like it's not a knockoff but when you get to the back, I mean, you got pretty well the same detailing here, um, minus the little rivets again. Uh, the doors are pretty well identical, except for smaller. Uh, you don't have the plastic headlight or tail lights. Instead, you've got little stickers here, which is peculiar that they are round on square pieces. Yeah, uh, the doors open up here just the same way as your masterpiece version, which let's go ahead and do that over here same style of hinge I mean it's hinged exactly the same way um, yeah all the way to, to the the way the door connects uh, the trailer ramp on here comes out exactly the same way and then you start seeing some of this difference like this is doesn't have all these like step type detail here so I'm left a little unclear if it's a knockoff or not, um, but a little spoiler there, look at the inside of the MP trailer and look at the inside of this one. That's the one reason it really starts striking me as a little bit of a knockoff. So the nice thing about this trailer is it is rather small. This is the uh, Dark of the Moon, I think they still considered it a Voyager Optimus Prime trailer. Um, and you can see it's shorter than this trailer, about the same overall length. But this was the one that was designed to go with that uh, smaller size Optimus Prime toy. Um, I'll get to what this is for in a minute. I just want to finish comparing some trailers here. Uh, here is the Fans Project trailer for uh, your Deluxe Classics Optimus Prime, which I didn't notice until... I didn't notice. Jeez, need to learn to speak English there. But uh, I didn't notice until this review just how big the Fans Project trailer is. In fact, it's actually pretty well the same size as the MP trailer. Um, it's just slightly shorter, like maybe like a centimeter um, and like less than like a millimeter smaller. So it's really, you know, it's kind of ridiculous when you put it with the classics. So let's just, just for giggles and remembrance I suppose since it's been a while here it is next to this Optimus Prime and that's a pretty big that wind vane is not getting air past the trailer it's just deflecting it up into another part really way too big of a trailer for your classics Optimus Prime which actually makes this trailer fairly interesting now this trailer is not designed for that Prime but look at that that is actually the perfect size trailer for this Optimus. Uh, your wind vane should be deflecting air just about over the trailer. Uh, yeah, if you look at a real tractor trailer in person, that's about what the size is going to look like. Actually, it could be maybe even a little bit shorter um, or the wind vane a little higher. I don't know. It's close. 
So just in case you don't have the Optimus that it's supposed to go to, which I don't know why you'd buy this if you didn't, it does come with this little roller type guy. He has this little, I guess like repair arm or hydrant arm here on him. He is very cheap plastic. He feels very much like uh, a toy from a dollar store. Like, um, fortunately nothing transforms on him so I don't think anything's gonna break. But uh, it's very brittle feeling plastic. I don't know how long it would last uh, if it gets dropped. You know, it's probably not going to survive. Uh, as you saw, it does have this arm uh, with the screw here. Nice screw to let it facilitate moving around. You do have the pivot over here, and then you have the pivot of the nozzle thing. Now, the nozzle thing also comes with this little, like, lightsaber looking thing, which you can plug in. And the pictures kind of that I've ever found of him, and there's very few, kind of show him just like this. Um, with the trailer attaching to this piece. So it's like he's going into battle and he's carrying Optimus Prime's trailer. I actually think the intent of this piece here is to be kind of like a repair type beam. So like maybe he's uh, sitting there welding something on Optimus. I actually think it kind of looks pretty cool, the little translucent coming out of there. Uh, I don't really have any complaints about that. So you saw the peculiar method of clipping around our roller down here. What this is actually designed for is your Dark of the Moon uh, Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. And you see these little slots here? It's, exact, it's designed to tab into here. And I kind of question that because I suspect this probably limited the sales of this SC trailer. Um, it looks good with this Prime, don't get me wrong. I think that looks that looks pretty awesome. Um, it goes just fine, no problems there. I mean, we are flat out rotating this piece on the bottom with our Prime. You can feel the resistance when it's plugged in. And it works, and it looks nice with this Prime. But I'm not sure there's a whole bunch of people who wanted to buy this Prime and were super compelled to get a trailer. I'm sure there were some out there. Um, but it feels like it's a limited market. If I were them, what I would have done, and I don't know if they're still around, I've seen that they have a Shockwave uh, War for Cybertron Shockwave that you can pre-order, and apparently they had a Prime. Um, but this is a tip for them if they make another trailer in the future. Make some adapters for this. Like, it wouldn't have been hard to make a little square thing that pegs in here, so that Classics Optimus Prime we looked at would peg right into there. So if you're wondering about the size of the trailer here, let's open this up. We can slide this on out. And if you have those Make Toys Protectobots, I mean, they're like the perfect size for this guy. Um, you can only really get one of them in there before you start running into the stuff in the back, which I'll show you. I don't think we can get to. Actually, maybe we can if he's just perfectly put in there. Now we're not going to get two in there. Almost. So close to two protective bots. Um, but you can see they're they're pretty much the perfect size to mess around with this trailer. So one last truck to show this with before we actually go on to the uh, base mode. I mean like look at that. That's a little small. But still with an adapter I think that that would have been pretty cool. So the base mode on this thing is standard prime fare. We're gonna... Well you can flip these out but these don't touch the ground so they don't really assist in stabilizing it uh, like they do with every other Prime. Um, you can open this up and then you can have of course the base just like this uh, or you can do the stand up thing and you can see here like see it's not I mean it's not even really when these fold down they're not even really touching these um, because it doesn't fold completely flat so these are kind of more there just for the sake of being there and not for the sake of doing anything. But here you go. Here's the inside of the base. And you can see we've got some differences than any other Prime we have. And here's our little like Teletran unit here. Um, he does have this little claw. The claw is on a swivel up here, the swivel here, and the swivel for the actual single claw piece down here. The top's not going to move, only the bottom. Um, and then the actual, we got the swivel here. This looks like a double jointed swivel, but it looks like at the last minute they cut out one of those joints and just made it a solid piece, which is 
weird because I feel like it limits things way too much. And then the swivel here, and then the actual unit swivels. Now we could have used like an orange sticker, and you can see the swivel here is they're not super tight, so they don't. He he has kind of trouble holding himself up, and he's a very light piece of plastic. Um, I'm sure if we took a screwdriver to him, we might be able to fix that, but I don't know how important that is. Uh, the sticker here would have been nice. We did put some black stickers on, black stickers here. Yeah, so you can see, this is what made me feel like this was a knockoff at first. Like, all this detailing in here, uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but I never saw any of that detailing until we looked at MP Prime. And then you've got all that detailing, but it's not perfect. Like, we don't have every piece of detailing. It's like they picked and choose. So maybe it's not really a knockoff. Maybe they just looked at the MP Prime trailer and kind of emulated some things that they thought looked nice, like this and this down here. Um, you can see the central piece is entirely different on the two of them. So, yeah, I'm... I'm thinking that it's just very inspired by the MP Prime trailer and not actually a knockoff and you know the fact is you can only transform a, a Prime trailer so many ways right? So of course if we wanted we could take our our character, uh oh Motormaster what's he doing uh, for this trailer? That doesn't make any sense but uh you know we can mess around with it if you want you can have your little uh, teletrain unit kinda grabbing pieces of them or, or even uh, I don't have his gun handy, but let's just let's pretend it's this one. Um, if it was strong enough, you could certainly make it hold a weapon in place, and that just needs to be tightened up, I think, a little to make that happen. And then we could take our little uh, roller guy here, and roller could be, you know, maybe you have him holding a piece of Optimus's chest open, and our little roller here, let's get this back if we can. Maybe our little roller here is just sitting there repairing Optimus. I don't know. It's a fun little set. Uh, I'm surprised that I haven't heard of it before. Um, maybe I did, like I said, and I just wrote it off. Which is entirely possible, because I didn't think I was going to have a purpose for it until a little later. I think it runs about 30-some bucks at uh, BBTS right now, from what I've seen. And it's okay. If you want a small trailer, um, it's good. I do think the Fans Project trailer is a much, much higher build quality. Um, I think it's a way better trailer than this one, but it is way too big for your uh, classic scale stuff, in my opinion. Um, so that maybe, you know, that could be something that influences you to uh, not go the Fans Project route. Uh, if you don't really like how big it is. And in which case, this is a perfectly serviceable trailer. Hopefully, within the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to, I'll be able to show you exactly why I picked up this trailer. And uh, we'll go from there. So this is TTRX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I'll see you next time. One thing I forgot to include with the repair station here is that it did come with a sticker sheet. Mine came with two. And just so you can see how the stickers are, you got the two sides, a bunch of little black stickers, and a couple little red stickers. Pretty easy to install, just remember the instructions are on this side of the box.